Wow, the fog is coming. The fog is coming. Oh. In Texas, it is actually legal to eat a dog. Skip it about and about that. Oh. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Tank's going off to the army. Oh. We're never going to see these capybaras again. What's up, guys? It's me, Uncle Ben. And today I'm here with my friend Tank, and we have some very exciting news for you. The fog is coming. That's right, we got all kinds of corn today. All, all kinds of corn, way too much corn. No. Look at this adorable little creature. It's time to get these guys their first ever husk of corn. But look how healthy these ostrich chicks are, guys. They've come a long way from being little boys that were dying from curled toes. You thought you could get away. But this is what we gotta do every time I take them out here. Look at this bus. Every time we take them out here to go and swim, and we let them swim in this adorable little pool here. As you can see, they are much more comfortable in the deep water. Tank ran back to grab the corn. I'm gonna go ahead and get in there in my overalls because I love you all and I want to guard your hearts. Uncle Ben just wants to guard your hearts, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and just step on in here now. Oh, that feels nice. Only the cleanest of water for you, Cappy. This is what they call a redneck hot tub. Oh no, it's happening. They're gone, guys. They're gone. We're never gonna see these Cappy bars again. Look how they walked right over to the grass over there. Okay, well, while they're walking over there free ranging on this much land, which is the first time they've- Whoa, is that head rapper and artist? the baby cappy's on the move for today these cappies really be on the move for today as you can see they are clearly not scared of poggers anymore don't be doing something you're gonna regret now children okie doke now they're back at this little thing now the question is how do we get them in there i might just have to dive on them also kanye was coughing last night so i gave him an ivermectin drench and now he's doing much better oh they go into the one spot i really don't want them to go to ideally pretty soon we'll have it so they can climb up this and jump right in and out new queen is such a little sweetheart to the cappies and we're back don't mind if i do tank's going off to the army so this is going to be the last video we see with him for a while send tank a goodbye gift to our p.o box please something special and whoever keeps sending me dvd copies of Moneyball with brad pitt please stop i have more than enough now oh sweet wampum i sure don't mind this one bit <laughs> nothing like a little cappy bathy for the first day of september <laughs> why did you put your nose in my hand I actually did find the real queen you guys i've been waiting to tell you this for some reason i can't get this video over on my other phone but look at this what this is queen guys we found her finally after 21 days she finally showed up look at that look how happy she is new queen is over here and old queen is at the animal shelter after 21 days of being missing she finally showed up and she looked really well fed so somebody definitely took her and was taking care of her and then took her back to the animal shelter today we're going to be giving these guys a little bit of corn yeah this is corn you guys it's a big lump with knobs what else can we say about this the they don't even know where to go. I love how they stay right next to each other. This is their first time eating corn. They've never eaten it before, and I'm pretty sure they can eat the husk. Oh, they know what to do. Oh, it did not take long at all. Well, 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 well. Oh, look, they love you, Tank. Wow, they warmed up to you so quickly. All it takes is just a tiny little bit of food, you guys. Hey, how's about you share those cappies over here, huh? <laughs> oh, looks like we got a little poop in there. They're mine now. <laughs> this is a typical day for us Waco here. Wow, they really love this. This is sweet corn, right? We got this at H-E-B the other day. Well, 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 well. I'm sorry. Do your capybaras not know how to trade Ethereum? Do your capybaras not know how to DDoS? Well, this cured my depression. Okay, I have acquired the Clappy Blappies now. I think the biggest reason why they wanted to get out of here is because they don't really have a great place to stand. So I'm just going to let them sit on my lap here for a little bit. And then we're going to give them some corn. So this is corn, everyone. It's a big lump with knobs. <laughs> Isn't this amazing, you guys? It's no longer 108 degrees. It's now in the 90s every day for the high. It's perfect. Perfect. Things are finally turning green again. It isn't just brown everywhere. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. There really ain't nothing better than watching your clappy blappies chew on a little bit of corn in your redneck hot tub. Perfect. Hey, it's me editing Ben. Just want to tell you guys that these adorable little baby boys here can eat corn, but not too much of it. You don't want to give them too much corn. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Tank. Tank, you remember your welding tutorial over there in that corner? <laughs> if you guys go back to the old videos, Tank was here when this place used to still be a crack house. Right over there, there was a giant pile of tire, totes of oil that just had tons of dead things in them. Nasty stuff. Tank helped us weld all these pipes here, cut them, put them in the ground. Originally, we just had ducks back here that were all rescued. And we have come 
come a long way in a short period of time. It's only been a year, right? Yeah. Since we first showed up. Only a year. I would like to take a shower in your shower after this. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, Tank. No showers allowed. You know the rules. You're not allowed to shower in my home anymore. No, Tank, no. We're losing them. We lost them. No. No, Cappy on the run. Boy, get your butt on over here. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> look at little Pogger. As you guys can see, all the animals are a lot happier now. Kanye just relaxing over there. But every day, Tank and I come out here. We take two bags of clementines. We dump them in here, and we spend about an hour and a half, three hours with them. Nothing but the best for my babies. Dump all this out, throw all this food away, and we restart it the next day. Hello, my precious not queen. Pond is looking nice and green today. All the the grass is starting to finally come back in. Whoa, is that tank? Poggers is really obedient, but he's not very good at protecting us. All right, Clappy Blappies, end of the line. Okay, we're refilling their pool now. I still need to go ahead and take these fence panels and create a run for them. Think about having it go from here all the way around here. In the meantime, though, I like to pick all this grass that's growing out here that's getting really long. It's really easy. This is free food. It's free food for them. Now, they do have a whole bale of Timothy hay in there, so they have infinite food in this thing. I need to get some more guinea pigs food for them today. But you see, they love this stuff. They immediately started eating it. Speaking of sussy little boys, was that hit rapper and artist a baby here? All right, you guys, you've been asking for a third person uh, lookalike to see how big the baby is. This is how big he is. Oh, scratching me up real good there. See, this is how big he is now. This is what it's like to get attacked by a kangaroo. It's really not that hard to defend yourself. All I do is I just shake his hand like this. I kiss his hand and then I kiss his other hand. I go, Mwah. And the baby does in fact know that this isn't the real queen. Just a little sussy imposter fake queen. Little dumb little ugly stupid dumb little fake queen with nice pearly white teeth. Still has her stupid little puppy teeth. Look how pearly white these teeth are. Don't mind if I did. This is a really good dog. I think this dog is very, very happy here now, you guys, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and rehome her. We're gonna eat her. It's in Texas, it is actually legal to eat a dog. If you kill the dog humanely, it's legal for you to eat it. In Texas, it's actually legal in a lot of states to do this. Today, we're gonna go ahead and catch and cook this dog. As you can see, this is a lot of meat here on the left. This is a big drumstick right here that you can eat. This has to be at least, I don't know, what, 2,000 grams of protein tank? I think so. The arms is a little bit less, probably about 750, maybe 500 grams of protein to get you through a few days. A lot of people don't know this, but there's protein in the eyes as well. And there's a lot of muscle right here behind the ears in the back of the head. Now you can eat all of this, you guys. The paws and the claws make great little toys for other dogs to chew on. Now, obviously I'd never eat one of my dogs, but this is just a little stray that someone abandoned somewhere. And people eat dogs all around the world. As you can see, there's a lot of good meat on this thing still. We're gonna be able to get a lot out of her. We're not actually gonna eat the dog. Of course we're gonna eat this dog. But After that, we're gonna eat the baby. New Queen's also a little bit sussy. You can tell she's still just a little bit of a puppy. Also, I gave all this food to the baby because he's starting to look a little thin. But I think he's been going through growth spurts and he needs to eat a lot to keep up with that. These boys also have their food here and they don't really fight over it, I don't think. Cringe. Kevin, you're being cringe. Stop it. Stop that. Cringe, Kevin. You're being cringe. I'm going to do the same thing I did the other day where I hold your head for like an hour and a half. As you can see, I'm very gently just holding the back of his head. He doesn't like that at all. This is extremely disorienting for Kevin. He doesn't like this one bit. Eventually, though, he'll get so annoyed that he'll just run off. I did it. I have bested him. Get out of here. Okay, perfect. The main reason why I don't slap Kevin anymore, you guys, is because he's just a dumb little baby boy. He doesn't really learn. Every day, it's going to be a little bit of a tussle with him. But it's something I'm very willing to do. <laughs> Oh, the fog is coming, 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 the fog is coming. 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 Oh, very nice. Hey, Kevin, is that you? <laughs> okay, sure. Seems safe for your esophagus. How's about you let me feed these other guys first? Look at all these guys just peacefully eating. Meanwhile, Kevin will just annihilate like a pound of food and then just attack me like this for no reason. This is all he does is he just eats a ton of food and then he just tries to attack me like that. Part of me thinks he's got like a demon or something. Sometimes it's actually for his own. Look at the old big rig driving by, perfect. Sometimes it's actually in Kevin's best interest for me to push him away. Look at this beautiful big boy. We got nice green grass for them to eat everywhere. Poggers and new queen just cuddle each other and kiss all day. And the baby's finally comfortable with the two of them again. Everybody's just back to normal. And all of these boys like to play together. It's gonna be really awkward when queen comes back next week. But like I said, you guys, queen is here. She's just at the 
the pound right now. She has to get spayed because we never spayed her. And they're holding her till Wednesday because they can't get the operation done till then. Kind of cringe that they do that, but at the same time, I'm only paying 125 bucks and I was going to get her spayed anyway. She's also getting all of her shots and 125 bucks is a steal for that. Look how cute these two are. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can see these guys are not a danger to each other. They like to just have fun. The baby is not dangerous, at least not yet to these guys. And he does like to grab on. And I really mean it guys. She is just like Queen. Queen's going to come back next week and be like, you replaced me with a cuter, happier dog. And I'm just going to say, yes, I did. <laughs> dog. Look at those boys all fighting each other over there. One other thing I'll show you guys is these boys. The Ouncertons have created their own little commune here. <laughs> And that's how they communicate to each other. But they have a root system and a little tunnel system. Oh, you see that? Just see their heads pop up every now and then and go, woohoo! Now I do need to stack another block here. Because see, I have to replace their water every day now. But these guys are so precious and easy to manage. Look at them. Except for Cringe over here, who still likes to climb up the wall. But I do keep this shut and locked when I'm not here to ward off thieves and predators. Like Tank. No, just about any kind of owl or any raccoon even could come in there and kill them. Probably a skunk would do it too if it was hungry enough. Just a couple of boys having a little bit of fun. Eventually, the baby I think will get a little too big for them. Oh, uh oh, see, Poggers is clearly not like scared of him or afraid of him. Look at these precious boys. But all right, you guys, that's it for now. Love you, appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Also, there are still rats in my walls and attic. Tank passed away serving our country in the armed forces, and he never made it past basic training.